even, even when we can't be together physically, we are together in spirit. Blessed be. Our minister is Reverend Lee Marie Sanchez. She's here with us this morning live. Many of you may not know how hard Reverend Sanchez is working behind the scenes to support our congregation. She helps us put together this live broadcast every Sunday and helped us get it started from the beginning. She shares information and resources of how other youths are doing their broadcasts. She's increasing her number of member contacts and pastoral posts to comfort us and keep us in community and keep our community strong and in the know since we cannot be together in person at the fellowship. Even though she's only being paid as a part-time minister, she's working full-time now and overtime for us during these isolating times. We are grateful she's our rock during these times of trials and tribulations. Here's what you've been waiting for, Reverend Lee Marie Sanchez, enjoy. Thank you very much. It is a privilege to be the minister of the Unitarian Universalist Fellowship of Laguna Beach. I can't believe every day that I get up, I get to say that to myself. Good morning, Laguna Beach. And good morning, all the Lagunas, the Laguna Hills, the Laguna Woods, the Laguna whatevers, the Dana Point, the Orange, the, all the towns around us. If you were old enough, if you're old enough as I am, to remember Jerry Dunphy, he was a newscaster in the 60s and 70s, and I believe into the 80s in Los Angeles and all of Southern California. When he would begin a more, an evening's newscast, he would say, from the mountains to the sea to all of Southern California. Well, I know there are other congregations and there are other people watching us than the members and the friends of Laguna Beach, but you're all friends today. So from the beaches, through the mountains, through the valleys, to the deserts, good morning. We are all one. We may be physically distanced from one another, but we are still socially connected in the spirit. I wanna thank Don West for bringing us into the 21st century and allowing us all to learn this wonderful new medium. It's brand new almost for me, and I know it's brand new for everyone else, or a lot of you. For me, it's not just a straight up learning curve, it's more like a backward yoga turn. Oh, I really appreciate how much that you have moved through to be able to be here with us today. I also want to thank Donna for her wonderful words. She's always a delight to have in our pulpit. So good morning and thank you to Donna. Carol is the most awesome and beautiful and talented music director, and we are so fortunate to have her with us today as we continue to work on how best we can hear her music and to be able to sing with her. Our UUFLB board has supported this endeavor and behind the scenes, our president Peggy Mears has been working along with me and our treasurer Tom McGrew and so many others to make sure that this happens for all of us. So at the end of my welcome on Sundays when I'm in the pulpit, I always say welcome and welcome home. And so today, welcome home to our congregation from your homes. Blessed be. All right, thank you so much, Lee Marie. So there is a short affirmation that I invite you to read aloud at home with me. The affirmation is going to be coming on your screens in a second. And when it does, I'd like you to read with me. Oh, not that one. There we go. Here we go. Ready? When things go when things wrong, go wrong and, and they, they sometimes, sometimes will. will when the when road, the road you're, you're trudging, trudging seems, seems all uphill, uphill. When, the when the funds are low, low and the debts, and the debts are, are high, high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't quit. So the mission of our congregation goes on even though we are not together in the, at the fellowship. The costs that go with that mission continue even though we've lost a substantial part of our income because we don't have the usual contribution of those who have, could have contributed into our offertory basket on Sunday mornings. 
I want to let you know. Well, I'm going to put that on the screen up so they can see that while I'm talking, please. So they can see um, how they can help, help continue to help out and support the fellowship. Thank you. Just go ahead and leave that up while I talk. That's okay. So um, while you're looking at that and, and um, contemplating how you can uh, participate in, in helping the UFLB, I want to let you know that I've decided to donate the $1,200 that I received from the federal government, whenever that happens, to our fellowship, the UFLB. Oh. I'm fortunate in my retirement that I don't really need the money. I know that our UFLB does though. We've been hanging on financially for at least the last five years. Although we are stable, with the loss of income from the stay-at-home order, plus the loss of too many of our beloved family members who were reliable financial contributors, we need to do everything we can to shore up our fellowship. If any of you are like me and don't really need the money, consider donating it, donating it to the UFLB. Of course, some of us, uh, many of us, are struggling financially. So I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to those who have a comfortable lifestyle and, and are able to give um, without it hurting. So please, only give if you can. In addition, in order to walk our social justice talk, our board of trustees decided to continue paying our cleaning crew and other expenses, even though the crew cannot do their job until it's safe to go back. Help us to continue our mission for social justice and world peace by following the instructions on your screen. This shows you how you can contribute and keep the mission and fellowship alive during these coronavirus times. Please give generously and with love. For those who need more time, this screen will appear again at the end of the service. All right, it's time for our meditation. Zhang Yi says, introverts are experiencing their ideal world right now. All events are canceled. They don't even have to go through the trouble of faking it. No one is making random small talk or physical contact. Everyone's minding their own business. This is heaven for introverts. So let's all make like an introvert now and draw inside ourselves as we meditate together. Close your eyes, relax in your chair, feet flat on the floor, shoulders back, hands and arms relaxed. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Take another breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Follow the movement of your breath. Let's share a quiet moment of meditation as we pray for the safety of ourselves and everyone in the world. Our unison reading today is the lyrics of a song entitled, O Star of Truth, which is number 293. The words are on your screen and let's read it together. O star of truth, down shining through clouds of doubt and fear, I ask beneath thy guidance, my pathway may appear. However long the journey, However hard it be, though I be lone and weary, lead on, I follow thee. We are on a very unusual and difficult pathway right now. May we soon be back together, joyful in our supportive community and wiser for learning what is really essential in life. So you see the slide before you there, and it says, uh, every disaster movie starts with the government ignoring a scientist. So I, that our service is all about truth and how important it is to listen to people to know like scientists uh, at crucial times because we need their expertise and we need the truth. The EU principle that I think ties in with our theme this morning is number four. 
Unitarian Universalist congregations affirm and promote a free and responsible search for truth and meaning. It's in trying times like these that the importance of truth shines clearly. If we can't trust what our leaders are telling us, we act irrationally and selfishly, like hoarding toilet paper. When we hear the truth, we are encouraged to act rationally to protect ourselves and our families and the world community. I want to begin. So talking about that screen about every disaster movie starts with the government ignoring us scientists, this whole pandemic started in exactly that way in China. A doctor tried to tell the government about the, the appro approaching pandemic and the officials silenced him. He later died of coronavirus. The highest leader of our land in January and February said there was no pandemic, everything was under control, and it was fake news. Now we see many people in America sick and dying because we wouldn't listen to the scientists. And he's talking about releasing the stay-at-home directives and getting back to normal by Easter. But the scientists are all saying it will get worse before it gets better. They think many more people will get sick and possibly die, unfortunately, over the next few weeks. We need our national leaders to tell us the truth and protect us. From ancient time to the present, people have had a lot to say about the truth. Aristotle said, for though we love the truth and our friends, piety requires us to honor the truth first. Plato said, there's nothing so delightful as the hearing and the speaking of the truth. For this reason, there's no conversation more agreeable as that the person of integrity who hears without any intention to betray and speaks without any intention to deceive. Too many people in national leadership would be wise to listen to Aristotle and Plato and follow their advice. Many of us watch the news and we hear scientists like Dr. Anthony Fauci speaking. When he comes to the microphone, I Okay, I was hearing some odd sounds, but it's back to normal again. Okay, so anyway, let's talk about Dr. Anthony Fauci. Because when he comes to the microphone during the White House briefings, I breathe a sigh of relief. He has a wonderful track record of letting us know exactly the situation and what we can do to protect ourselves and others. He tells the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. He doesn't sugarcoat anything, but leaves you feeling that someone has just, has just leveled with you at a stressful time. He also leaves you with a feeling of hope as he outlines what all of us can do to improve the situation. In other words, he does exactly what all of us want our leaders to do. Tell it straight and give us an action plan so we can make things better. Dr. Fauci is an immunologist who has served as a director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, the NIAID, since 1984. Since January of 2020, he's been one of the lead members of the White House Coronavirus Task Force, addressing the pandemic here in the United States and globally. As a physician with the National Institutes of Health, the NIH, he has served public health for the past 50 years. He's made contributions to the HIV AIDS research and other autoimmune deficiencies, both as a scientist and as the head of the NIAID at the NIH. The New York Times calls Fauci the nation's leading expert on infectious diseases. In short, Dr. Fauci is a hero, the same kind of hero as Harriet Tubman or Sully Sullenberger or John Glenn. Leaders who face down enormous odds, speak truth to power, and fearlessly put themselves in, in harm's way to protect others. So we owe a debt of gratitude to Dr. Fauci for his amazing, tireless work on our behalf. God bless Dr. Fauci, and God bless and protect the United States of America. So now it is time for us to extinguish our chalice. But first, I have a few shout outs. The president of our board of trustees, Peggy Mears, is working ceaselessly to connect us by email. She helped start these live services 
and contributes each time to them in an essential way. There, those are only a few of the many tasks she's doing for us. We're grateful for her many efforts to keep us connected and functioning. I also want to give a shout out to Don West Jr. He's our chalice lighter today, but what everyone really needs to know is that Don is the most instrumental person working behind the scenes at the UUFLB to do many tasks that help us and to bring us these live broadcasts. We literally could not do, be with you this morning and do these live broadcasts without Don's help. He exemplifies the motto, help others first. Don, would you please extinguish the chalice and those of you at home, extinguish your chalice too if you choose. We extinguish this flame knowing that its light remains in the warmth and compassion of our hearts until we are together again. The closing message comes to us from Father Michael Graham, president of Xavier University. You, the, we're gonna put the uh, screen on so you can read it with me if you like. May we who are merely inconvenienced remember those whose lives are at stake. May we who have no risk factors remember those most vulnerable. May we who have the luxury of working from home remember those who must choose between preserving their health and making their rent. May we who have the flexibility to care for our children when their schools close remember those that have no options. May we who have to cancel our trips remember those who have no safe place to go. May we who are losing our margin money in the tumult of the economic market remember those who have no margin at all. May we who settle in for quarantine at home remember those who have no home. As fear grips our country, let us choose love. And during this time, when we may not be able to physically wrap our arms around each other, let us find yet, let us yet find ways to be the loving embrace of God to our neighbors and to the world. Blessed be. Let's sing together aloud from home our closing song, Let There Be Peace on Earth with the help of Carol Cole. The words are on your screen. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. With earth as our mother, we are family. Let us join with each other in perfect harmony. Let peace begin with me. Let this be the moment now. With every breath I take. Let this be my solid path. Take each moment and live each moment. Peace eternally. Let there be peace on earth. And let it be. Thank mm -hmm. you.